So like a year ago, I got woken up in the middle of the night because my chest hurt, I was sweating, and my watch said that my pulse was like super high. Like, you know, bear in mind, I'm, I'm sleeping in bed. And my pulse is like 130, 140. It's like two o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, ah, you know, I'm in that like perfect age to have a heart attack. You know, the chest hurts real bad, profusely sweating. I mean, I saturated the bed from head to toe, okay? And uh, I was like, you know what? This might be a heart attack, okay? But I didn't want to wake the, the, the Heathers up and, you know, give everybody worried and shit like that. So what I did is I just got up and drove to the hospital and, uh, you know, drove up to the emergency room entrance. Uh, and they got a, you know, a couple of temporary parking spots right there. And I was like, you know what? This is, this is where I was. I didn't want to pay for an ambulance because that's like 500 bucks in my town, okay? And um, I didn't want to go into the hospital and be the guy that thought he was having a heart attack that wasn't having a heart attack, right? So in my brain, I'm just like, I'll sit on the bench outside the hospital. If I have a heart attack, I drop over. They've got a security guard there. They'll do something. They'll let somebody in the hospital know. So I parked right there and I sat on the bench. Now, over the course of about 45 minutes, the chest pains got less and the sweating stopped and, you know, I got some color back in my skin and everything else like that. And, um, but while that's happening, this real old security guard, probably 70, 80, he wanders over and goes, how you doing tonight? I was like, yeah, doing pretty good. He goes, uh, it's a nice night to beat out. I was like, yeah, it's a nice night to be out. He goes, yeah. He says, uh, having chest pain? I look over at him, I'm like, yeah? How did you know? He goes, you think you're the first dumbass guy that's having a heart, heart attack and uh, doesn't want to uh, waste time so he comes over here and sits on the bench? I was like, really? Other people have done this? He goes, yeah, about two a week. That just gives you an idea how some guys think, you know? I don't want to inconvenience people uh, and didn't want to pay for an ambulance if I didn't need it and didn't want to be the guy not having a heart attack. Now, fast forward to today. Ronan, sitting right here, got a, got a little streppy strap in the throat, right? So, goes and gets an antibiotic. The antibiotic says, whoa, I'm not up for this job. Audi, right? goes back to the freaking hospital and they're like, oh yeah, your strep, that's uh, that's gonna be uh, antibiotic resistant strep. That's a that's a stubborn strain, okay? We got this super lamidine other antibiotic that's gonna kill it. Fuck my life. It's based on penicillin. And Rhoda goes, as a child, I was allergic to penicillin. And the doctor goes, you're probably not anymore take the antibiotic. And Rona goes, I'm allergic to penicillin. I've been told that my entire life. I had a reaction when I was a kid. And the doctor goes, yeah, it'll be okay. Take the antibiotic. So Rona a little stressed out about it. Didn't really want to take the antibiotic. I said, Ronan, penicillin allergies, they happen really quick. Okay. So I got an idea. It worked on a heart attack, okay? So it'll work for you, all right? We drive to the emergency room. Where we are. Where we are right now, okay? We park outside the emergency room. And you take the penicillin-based antibiotic that you're afraid of. And if you have a reaction, you are at the emergency room, and we are, we are ready to go. Here we are. Chad GPT says this is gonna happen within 15 to 30 minutes, right? So Ronan decides, you know what? I want to be closer to the emergency room. And uh, he gets out of the truck and he goes and sits on a bench, okay? And I'm like, Ronan, the fuck are you doing sitting on a bench? He's like, well, if I have a reaction, how are you gonna get me out of the truck and into the emergency room? I'm a big dude. Right? I mean, look at us, okay? I look like a toy next to this guy, all right? So, I was like, Ronan, 
If your big ass dies on a bench, okay? I gotta drag you across concrete into the fucking emergency room and holler at somebody and go, I got a dead guy here, right? Okay, that's a fucking problem. Or you could sit in the truck. And in the event that you die, I drive truck through the emergency room, glass, and deliver you like fresh, hot pizza into the emergency room. There's one problem with your theory. Oh, you don't think I can operate this truck from over here? I'm in the driver's seat. Oh, listen, <laughs> I can operate this truck from over here. You're not going to like it, and your wife will question it, right? Okay. <laughs> but I, I can get us through that window, all right? Mm. In any event, beautiful people, that's his line, not mine. Go have an amazing day. And if you are having a heart attack, I've been told this by several reliable sources, don't use my plan. Call an actual ambulance. That's all I got. No, ambulances are expensive. Y'all stay petty.